Abraham the Kano vows to defend the poor and the helpless. I will speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. I will ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, I will speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. See help, I will. That was the oath I took before Almighty God at His Holy Temple in Jerusalem in 2012 in preparation for this divine mission to restore Biafra. Below is me at the steps of the Federal High Court, Abuja, in 2016, surrounded by gun totting soldiers, DSS, police, armed prison guards, and a hostile prosecuting team. It, and despite repeated warnings from Nigerian National Security Advisor himself, Minister of Internal Affairs, the presiding judge, Binta Nyakyu, and explicit orders from Muhammad Buhari when he was still alive that I should not address the media. I ignored them and I went ahead to address the world media on behalf of those who can't help themselves. I made sure that poor Hausa Yoruba, Bangi, Fulani, and Kanuri young men illegally detained and wrongly tagged Boko people suspects languishing in DSS dungeon we are released. Some had been in detention for five years without trials. I pray their legal fees and financed their parents and relatives from all over northern and western Nigeria to visit Abuja. For some of them, it was their first time setting foot in just Biafran's love of humanity is the key. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, um, viewers, I'm not surprised at this uh, decision of Mazin and Americano. I'm not surprised at that because because uh, Mazim Narikanu is known to be um, to be such a person. is uh, is a person with a very big heart, with a a very loving and kind heart. Is a person that hates seeing his fellow uh, dying or suffering. Mazim Narikanu has never for once seen uh, seen something uh, there's something going wrong and refusing to to do something about it you know you can see how he how he showed his um, how he responded to the difficulty going on in pre at present you can see it's the hand of love he extended to the people of biafra mazinam de kanu is a freedom fighter you see he doesn't he, 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 he like he like fighting for justice and that is him so the nigerian government because of because of who they are and what they are then they then they, they that is what now made them to dislike and trying to see how to handicap the 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 freedom fighter Mazin the Kano unknown to them that they are actually um, trading on the wrong path because Mazin the Kano is quite different from those revolutionary revolutionaries that the the Nigerian government and do um do throw behind bar you see nigeria doesn't like the truth and that's why they go after those that tell the truth look at the issue of shawori just because they discover shawori um 
they discover that Shaori is about to expose expose them. That is why they quickly went after him and locked him up. But then that didn't still um shut the mouth of Shaori. Instead, it motivated him the more. I get it. So um I would say that the Nigerian government doesn't like seeing something something good coming out of the other person. Instead, they only know about themselves. They only care for themselves. They only know about their own family and the well-being of their family. They don't even want to know how or uh, uh, what uh, the other person is going through or passing through. They only know about themselves. They don't care. Look at President Mubari. See what is going on at present. He doesn't even want to know what is what the, the families are passing through, what the people are passing through, what is actually going on in families. He doesn't want to know. What is uh, is after is 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 his government and what is going to get in return for 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 uh for adhering to the directives of the Chinese government. So I would say that this is very, 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 very bad of the Nigerian government. And that is the reason why Donald Trump, on his own side, refused to concur with the current um the, the current um situation that is going on. Donald Trump happens to be the only president that is not in support of this current situation. But what is he going to do? He has no choice. Many of his people are dying. They are dying. So he just have to, okay, let, let me just, um, for, the, for the time being, lock everybody in door. But then, they will not go hungry. So he makes sure that they, they, they all get palliatives in order to survive within the period. But, but what happened to Nigeria? Are we getting any? No. Instead, we are locked in. We are locked in door with the hunger. We are deprived of going out to work and locked in with hunger. Hunger now took over the place of COVID-19. You can imagine. Hunger now is now taking the lead, killing a lot of people. Some of these people that we see that are dying, most of them are not dying because of COVID-19. I'm just telling us the humble truth. Some of them are dying because of hunger. Hunger is now tagged as COVID-2020, while the virus itself is now tagged COVID-19. My dear... What are we, what, where, where are we heading to? Where are we heading to? Where is Nigeria taking us to? President Mubari is not ready to make amendments. He's not ready to make change. He's not ready to call off the lockdown. It's not affecting him because he has lots of change in his pulse. He's very okay and his families are very okay. They have all that, that all, all that we take them throughout throughout the year. In fact, the money he has with him can even serve him till he departs from this earth. So why will he worry? Why will he worry? He only worry for himself and his family. And that is the reason why I said I love it. I love I love what actually happened, but uh, I love how uh, how the virus started dealing with them in Asorok before coming down to the common Nigerians, and the virus is still even dealing with them, despite all the money or uh, despite all that they have acquired. Even with their money, they cannot even save themselves. You can see. With all their money, look at Abakiari. One can imagine how much that has been spent 
at the private hospital. And I know that, that the money spent in that private hospital may not come from his sports. The money must come from the donation donated to the common Nigerians. And now they are spending it on, on Abakari. Not that he doesn't have the money to, 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 to uh, save himself. Okay, now, despite all the money, what, what is the end of the story? What is the end of the story? Nigeria will not, end, will not stop making mistakes. So, my viewers, this is the letter I can offer. What is your own comment concerning this news? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.